Hi, my name's Mike Beecher, and I'm with Mick Hutton today from the UK, who's a professional guitarist, and he's going to talk about using the Korg MP10 Pro media player for gigs with guitars. Hi, Hi. Mick, nice to see you. And you, Mike? <laughs> um, as you know, I'm a keyboard player, so this will be very interesting for me. I've, I've been using it uh, for over a year now, and uh, I really enjoy using a keyboard different way. But we have to find out how useful it is for a guitarist, because it, it's, uh, it's a, a good instrument to use, and it's uh, probably something that you hadn't discovered yourself in the first place. And no, that's right. Um, I've used PCs before. I've used... Uh, MIDI disc players, um, MIDI file players, but um, not anything that's got the whole scope. I've still had to have a sound module or I've, or I've had MP3 players. So having something that's got everything in one box and the twin players where I can either put MP3s or MIDI files in is a, is a real bonus. And uh, I suppose it's going to save uh, on in terms of what you carry around, because I see you've got a processor over there, that's a FEX processor, is it for yeah. your um, guitar playing? Yeah, the, the, that's um, a, a guitar emulation module um, for, for the electric guitar effects. Yeah. Um, for acoustic guitar, um, there's, in, there's an input that, you, that I've got that box going into, yeah. but there is reverb and effects on it, it will be plenty for an, an EQ for acoustic guitar. Yeah. Um, and the joy of it is with the microphone in the other input, I don't even need to carry a mixer. I just need to plug yeah. this box, line out into a, a simple PA, um, set up in five minutes, packed yeah. up in five minutes. So, I mean, the, two MIDI players, two MP3 players, and um, things that you don't normally get with PCs as well. You've got the motorized fader, haven't you, as well? Yeah, if you were, uh, you can set. Um, uh, from your library of songs, either within the uh, the large hard drive that's in there, or off of um, external USB sticks, yeah. you can set up your um, a playlist, mm -hmm. um, and you can have it on auto play. So as one play finishes, you can f uh, set the motor to fade out and fade into the next song, and then the next song will load in the first player, and so on. It will go backwards and forwards. So, in terms of continuity for a live dance set, um, that's uh, keeps your hands free for playing and, and you focus on the audience. Yeah, and if you want to take a quick break you can put it into complete auto mode, can't you, and use some original tracks you've got or whatever and go off for a break and come back and it's still playing music. Isn't yeah, it? you've got your backing sort yeah. of facilities yeah. for uh, pipe music and that in the breaks, so mm -hmm. it's because uh, there's it's room for thousands and thousands of songs. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean the library is very comprehensive that you can put in and build up to, like you say, you can have the external USB. I also use a keyboard for typing in all the bits and pieces. I, in this country, Maplin UK sell a um, nice uh, illuminated blue keyboard for eight quid that plugs in on the side, and now all the typing made easy, although yeah. you can use it on the touch screen as well. Yeah, you've got the touch screen. I mean, it's, a, it's a large enough touch screen. Um, oh, you did have difficulty at the beginning, though, with the touch screen, didn't you? And now you found that as long as you get your nail onto it, yeah. it, it then does actually operate pretty well all the time. Then, I think it's yeah. probably the first time you use a Blackberry or another yeah. type of mobile yeah. phone with very small keys, and you yeah. just need to get a bit of getting used to. But um, again, you know, it, it, once you do that, it, it functions fine. Of course, this has got the lyrics through a video output to the audience, if you're doing karaoke, yeah. and for you to see on screen, that going to be useful? Oh, yeah, uh, uh, that's one of the first things that attracted me to it, really. Um, uh, you set up a text file, uh, it, in its simplest form, you can set up a text file um, that's got um, the same name as the MIDI file, for instance, that you're playing, and um, they both come up together when the song loads and um, I've set up a foot switch to page through the lyrics. I've got settings for two different font sizes and for just from a, a singing playing point of view, the screen on the, on the MP10 Pro is big enough for me to read. Mm -hmm. As you say, if you wanted to invite the audience to sing along in some way, you could. there is a facilities for an external screen. So I, it, it sounds useful to me because instead of using ready-made karaoke files or commercial files which may not suit you you can actually just make your own backings and then attach a text file and use the foot pedal to scroll up and down that yeah 
Um, and it can show you lyrics and guitar chords. Yep, yep. You can have your all in text files. You can have your lyrics and your chords in there. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's uh, it's just nice having it all in one box and, and a robust box at that. There's the MIDI sound card as well. I use that on the piano to add an extra layer of sound. Are you going to be able to do that with a guitar? Uh, well, you could do it with a MIDI guitar. Um, I have got a function with one of my guitar effects boxes that does output to MIDI. Um, but, uh, I, I mean, not only that, but the using if I'm using MIDI backings, I'm using the sound module within the unit, which is 880 superb quality sounds, 40 drum kits, <laughs> um, which whatever your MIDI file may be set up for, whether it's general MIDI or not, it's very easy to go and edit the tracks mm -hmm. with the sounds you want to audition them while you're playing um, on the MP10 and then save that and that will be what plays in the future. I heard earlier you playing Big Day, your song that you've written, and um, you yeah. put the harmonizer into it uh, for uh, the first time. Yeah, yeah, the vocal effects has got a, a TC Helicon harmonizer up to three part harmonies, and uh, that's really useful. Uh, it yeah, just gives I a solo that, guitarist yeah. a body to, to, yeah. to, to, your, to your set, you know. You've got to be careful with the microphone that, that you don't get feedback. And uh, uh, But I noticed that what you've done is you've put your harmony, um, and we'll hear a little bit of it now. Got a big day coming The event of my life So much warmth and loving It is playing, and you can hear that you use the track of the MIDI file to produce the, the notes that you want to go through the harmonizer. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And you, you told me another thing I hadn't bought, thought about as well was you can actually then go to the the, the sound, the SFX file uh, on the mixer, um, the SMF file, and you can turn down the original volume of that track. So if you don't want to be using the keyboard sound that's generating the accompaniment notes yeah. you can turn it right off so it becomes your sound then yeah yeah, yeah so that's, 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 that's a cool little touch I hadn't thought of So because uh, it's using the MIDI notes and yeah. not the audio um, you can do that um, do you ever transpose music up and down to get the right pitch as well because that's there for you as well as tempo change isn't it yeah I mean um, certainly um, when I'm uh, starting out with a song, obviously once I'm taking it to a gig then I've probably yeah. got the key I want um, yeah. um, but either you've got transpose and you've got tempo and you can change them both again very easily like you can with the sounds on the MP10, save yeah. them and that's you. You could. it's easy to audition the song in a, yeah. even, even in, like, in my studio here ready for live use and then quickly go and tweak it without having to go back to the computer yeah. reload it back into the MP10, I can just do all the tweaking for my live set, yeah. all on this machine. When yeah. I'm even recording the songs on the computer, I can use this as a sound yeah. module, because yeah. uh, it's got the MIDI in and out. Yeah. Um, so it's for a, for a home studio, solo performer. Go on to the gigs as well, it's pretty, yeah. it covers, it, it does a lot of work for you for the money. Yeah. I, I like the display, the way it's all backlit, yeah. and you can vary that and, and really use it any in light environment you want. And of course, then with the uh, video out, you can put pictures as well as, uh, they're not high quality pictures necessarily, but uh, because of the number of pixels you can use. But you can make nice graphics, i found, when I'm doing gigs um, that just show the title of the music with a graphic around it and everything else. So that all adds a touch, doesn't it, to your performance compared with other guys. So yeah. um, that's quite interesting. I mean, you could probably take that a step further by having the video output into a projector on yeah. the wall behind you. So well, you could I actually do. have I, a... Yeah, I use that on a floor. A, wide, a short throw projector. Yeah. Uh, I'm not throwing and uh, that gives me a 15 feet picture behind me yeah. uh, and people can't believe it really. Yeah. Uh, but I, because we're in the multimedia age, it's really silly I think that we haven't exploited that enough for the gigging musician in the small environment yeah. as well. Um, that's cool. Um, the pads, it's got four pads down here for, for changing, for bringing up sound effects and whatever. Uh, and also for chain, for assigning to foot switches. Yeah. Uh, and you mainly found in the first instance you'll be using it for the foot switch change of the pages of yeah. the lyrics. Yes. Yeah, that that would be more useful. I me, mean, I understand you can uh, patch sounds yeah. 
to those, uh, one of them being applause, which yeah. might be useful in a, in a, in a quiet yeah. pub somewhere or yeah, a, a restaurant. <laughs> yeah, we all go down that road, don't we? Might, um, might encourage people up to... And it's the same with the fact that you've got the mini file there um, that, and, the, and the MP3. You can actually take out an MP3's vocal part, can't you? You can do, yeah. If you, I mean, uh, again, I suppose if you, whatever gig you get sometimes, you may have to multitask, like you do a little bit of karaoke <laughs> yeah, in between. Yeah. And so the fact that you've got a whole lot of um, karaoke uh, type backings on there, you can take the melody out, you can transpose the key to suit mm -hmm. the singer. Um, well, I do a lot of weddings, and I find that the last minute they're asking me to do something, and I can actually drag out a, a piece of music, maybe the original, just to play um, for them and remove the vocal and, and, and perform over that. Yeah. Uh, really, as a last resort, I wouldn't normally do that as a professional musician. So um, you'd feel the same about that as well, wouldn't you? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, But it does mean that if somebody says asks something, you can say yes and not no. Yeah. And that makes a lot of difference. And then, of course, before. you've got master effects at the end. So... When you're sending this out to your PA, um, and that's all you need, apart from the box, really, because it's acting as a mixer and everything else yeah. for you. Um, I know you did whisper to me that it'd be nice to have maybe some guitar sound processing along the line, wouldn't it? That and a um, tuner, maybe, but yeah, yeah that's, that's good I'm sure that yeah, yeah, can come in a software upgrade at some yeah, point, yeah, you know, or yes. a new version when it comes out. It saves out. carrying something extra, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, but really, I suppose, had in the first instance, it has a hell of a lot of things um, for you to use as a gig musician. Yeah, in one box, five minutes to set up, five minutes to pack up, and that's got to be great for a gig musician, isn't it? It's got this master output processing at the end. Would you use that yourself, you know? Oh, yes, because, uh, you know, it's got, it's, you've got your uh, exciters, compressors, limiters, um, did you, your whole mastering suite, really, a complete graphic EQ for the for the... For the whole mix of what you're doing so you've mixed it and then you've got that just to enhance and tweak that output for suited to the particular venue you're in at the time I mean, uh, yeah and looking at it and uh, you can see this screen here um it's got stereo flanger stereo phaser now i wouldn't normally use that as probably as much as a guitarist if you're doing a guitar solo you might want to add that in but um uh, yeah, I, I think probably I would use more the the the, the, the limiting limiter, and the, the yeah, EQ and so yeah, on like EQ, that yeah so uh, the, the exciter just to sort of get, yeah. to get that overall polish finish. Yeah, it's lightweight, it's portable. What about you know stability? You feel that it's going to last your. Well, when you think of the other options, other than loads of boxes with um, the other multitasking option is a PC or a laptop, isn't yeah. it? And this is sort of a, a much more robust looking and so feeling you, piece yeah. of equipment than your average laptop. Yeah, well, we all have PCs or Apples, but now instead of carrying those out, you can use that as backups, can't you? Yeah. safe at home, and this carries the whole lot on its mega drive, doesn't it, yeah. really? Hard drive. And, yeah. uh, um, and built, it's built for the road, and it's got all the sockets for the road, you've not yeah. got the add-ons yeah. to PC. Flashy, you've still got that flashy make, so. cover, it comes with really well padded and everything else. I found that has kept my box in pristine condition. This box is nearly two years old now, and it really hasn't got a mark on it. So... Um, very portable, very lightweight, and very reliable. Yeah. Good choice for guitarists to use. Worth having. Yeah, oh, it's, oh, I'm, uh, I'd look forward to uh, going out with one of these. Definitely, yes. Good. Well, thanks, mate. That's really interesting to know. Um, and uh, let's hope lots of people get some fun out of this amazing machine. Oh. Thanks.